Taoiseach, the government seems to get itself into a bit of a mess over uh, the issue of uh, recognising the huge role that workers uh, played in sustaining our society during the uh, COVID pandemic. So I'd like to just sort of give a few suggestions in that regard. Uh, first of all, health workers who actually uh, were on the front line in hospitals fighting to keep the disease at bay, getting infected, are a particular category whose, re whose work has to be recognised. And other people, home carers and so on. Anybody in the health service who was uh, directly, if you like, confronting the health consequences. But beyond that, there's other groups uh, who are not quite on the front line in that sense, like retail workers, like transport workers, like teachers, uh, like local authority workers, uh, like uh, civil servants, contact tracers, uh, and so on. I haven't got time. Who need some recognition. But then there's a more fundamental point, which is we realised the role that many working people who's, who, who suffer low pay, precarious work, and who are generally not acknowledged, actually were key in sustaining us, or through their absence, because they couldn't work, we really felt their absence, like the musicians, uh, the artists, and so on. And that requires a more general, not one-soft response, in terms of addressing low pay, uh, having something like a 15 euro uh, living wage as a mandatory minimum wage, uh, of doing something serious about precarity in employment and bringing our holidays, not on a once-off basis, but bringing bank holidays and statutory holidays up to the sort of levels we have in Europe, because they are much lower. So there needs to be a more general recognition that we fail to fully recognise how important many categories of workers are before the pandemic. And if we are to learn the lesson of the pandemic and have a better future after it, we need to learn those lessons uh, and make those changes. Uh, Deputy Boyd Barrett raised the issue in terms of, to be fair, I thought you were going to be, look, I'm open to consultation in terms of the special recognition, and I thought you were going to give me a kind of a tiered response, but in the end you said everybody should be supported, basically. Um, and, but, but I hear what you're saying. I do take your point in respect of healthcare workers in the front face. I do take that point. In terms of the more sustainable issues, I think there will be lessons learned from COVID in terms of how we organise society and how we structure society into the future. Uh, and that will inform you know, government policy in terms of wellbeing policy, in terms of income support policy, uh, and in terms of overall creating employment and getting employment back to pre-2019. Um,